So if you've been running your Facebook ads for a while and you've noticed that on day one, you get a really, really profitable day and then on day two, nothing. Really unprofitable, no sales out of the blue. And you're wondering why this is happening? Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today, we're gonna talk about Facebook ads inconsistencies and how you can understand and get around Facebook ads inconsistencies. So it's very normal if you're running your Facebook ads to have one day being very, very profitable and then on the next, nothing happens. Suddenly, you have no sales. And then on the following day, you get a few sales and on the next day, nothing again. There's a reason for these inconsistencies and that is exactly what we're gonna be going over today. So without further ado, Let's get straight into it. So before we get into the video, I'm going to break this down into two sections because there are differences between these two sections. One thing is Facebook ads and consistencies at low budget. And another thing is Facebook ads and consistencies at high budget. They happen for different reasons. So that's why I'm splitting them up here in two different sections. The first thing that I'm getting into is explaining why Facebook ads can be really inconsistent at low budget. So usually when you're running your testing campaigns, this is the typical scenario where you're going to see this type of inconsistency. The second thing that I'm getting into is inconsistencies at high budget. So when you're scaling, when you're running at a really high budget, your profitability starts to go down, your ROAS on your high budget campaign starts to go down. And this is what we're going to be covering after. So high budget inconsistencies. So let's get into the computer and I'm going to draft up a quick chart to explain to you guys why Facebook ads can have some inconsistencies at low budget and high budget, as well as my suggestion in terms of what you can do to improve those results. So let's start by talking about Facebook ads inconsistencies at a low budget. Okay. You're going to have to excuse me for my very poor drawing skills, but I'll be doing my best. At low budget, this is usually a testing, right? Testing structure. Let's think about our ad account. We're in our ad account and we have one campaign here that is our testing campaign. And we're spending $50, let's say. We're spending $50 a day on our testing campaign here. And in this testing campaign, we have, let's say, six. We have six interests. We have interest A, we have interest B, we have interest C, we have interest D, interest E, and interest f we are spending um actually let's do this just five because it becomes easier to understand one two three four let's do five interests is interest a b c d and e and we're, let's say we're running this as an abo campaign so each of these is spending ten dollars what happens is that you're allocating ten dollars to each of these interests and so now what happens is let's say on day one and now let's see here day one day two and day three let's say day one interest a gets you two sales does really really well interest b is a bad interest nothing interest c is a good interest also gets you one sale interest d nothing and interest e nothing so day one you just got yourself three sales so day one you just got yourself three sales now moving on to day two let's say day two interest one doesn't get anything interest B doesn't get anything and none of the other interests make a sale. So zero sales. And let's say day three, interest A gets one sale again, interest B nothing, interest C nothing, interest D nothing, and interest E nothing. So day three, you get a total of one sale. And here you have a pretty inconsistent scenario, right? Your first day is really good. Your second day is terrible. And your third day is kind of okay now but if you look at it though interest a is doing an incredible ROAS interest a is an amazing interest interest b is a bad interest interest c is kind of okay and then those two interest d and e are also bad if you pay attention to what's happening here is that you're testing audiences right you're testing interests that you don't know if they work or not that's what's supposed to happen you end up having one profitable interest and then the others not really c interest c made a sale but it's it's probably just a lucky sale right it's one sale in one day and then nothing while interest a is proving to be kind of consistent but again you're spending ten dollars a day on this interest so you cannot expect it to do amazing every single day right it got once two 
sales on day one and then one sale on day three. This is probably above your break even row as unless your margins are terrible, right? So interest A is a scalable interest, but you're wondering why do I have these inconsistencies? Well, this is why, because your budget is mostly allocated to testing and you're not supposed to be profitable while testing. Maybe you're breaking even, maybe you're slightly profitable if you're lucky enough to have chosen a bunch of interests that are profitable in your testing, but you never know, right? So you only have one interest to scale here, which is fine. And that is why you're being inconsistent, but that's okay because this is just a testing campaign. What would happen next is you would start to add scaling and you would start scaling your interest A. You start scaling your interest A at $100 a day. So $100 a day, let's say five sales day one, uh, seven sales day two, and then day three is a little bit slower, three sales. So what you're doing now is you picked an interest that was consistently making good return on ad spend and you scaled it. So you put more money into it. And now you get consistent sales because you're allocating the largest portion of your budget to an interest that is profitable, right? And this is what happens when you start allocating more of your budget towards a profitable audience, you start to see more consistency because when most of your budget is, or all of your budget is all allocated towards testing, you're not supposed to be consistent because out of the interest that you're testing, only a few are going to be profitable. So you're not supposed to be uh, extremely consistent. That starts to happen as you shift your budget more towards profitable interest, profitable audience, then you start to become more consistent at a lower budget. So this is why we have some inconsistencies at low budget and why you shouldn't worry about them. What you should be doing is shifting most of your budget towards the scaling um, and of course scaling the profitable audiences. And in this way, you will um, phase out the inconsistencies because most of your budget is going to be spent on uh, profitable audiences, right? So I hope that made sense. Okay, so now let's get into inconsistencies at high budgets on your Facebook ads. If you're spending a high budget, when you see inconsistencies is usually um, when you're using the lowest cost strategy for a high budget campaign. So let's say you have $2,000 a day, but you're using lowest cost, you know, which is the one that you usually start using when you're testing and then you just scaled it up and you're still using lowest cost bid strategy for your um, scaling campaign. Now, what lowest cost means is that Facebook is going to try to bring you as many results as possible for the lowest cost. But if you think about it, there's a limited number of people that Facebook can get to convert within a specific day at a certain cost. And if you're doing lowest cost, what you're telling Facebook is please give me as many results as possible for the lowest cost. So if you're spending a lot of money, what Facebook does is it's going to get you those results at the lowest cost possible. But as it exhausts those options, it gradually keeps getting more results and the cost keeps increasing because what you told Facebook is just get me as many results as possible for the lowest cost. Of course, if you exhaust all the options of converting at low cost, the cost starts to be pretty high. So you start to get inconsistent in terms of your profit margins because your ROAS goes down because Facebook is exhausting all the lowest cost opportunities to get people to convert. So how do you get around this? Well, you cannot really get around inconsistencies at high budgets if you're doing lowest cost because Facebook is going to spend your money every day regardless. And sometimes there aren't enough options to convert profitably and Facebook will still spend your money. So what you need to do is you need to shift your high budget campaigns to a different strategy like cost cap or bid cap. Target cost is also not bad, but this is not a video about manual bidding. I don't want to spend too much time going in detail into this. If you guys want to see a video about manual bidding, let me know in the comments and I'll definitely make one. But for now, what I want to explain is that if you use one of these manual bidding strategies, you will be able to achieve consistent results even at high budget. If you think about it, cost cap, you're telling Facebook, get me results at an average cost of X. So Facebook, let's say on a seven day period, um, is going to get you, you know, some days you get higher costs, some days you get lower costs, some days you get high, low, but on average, it's going to be your target cost, right? Bid cap is a bit different. Bid cap, you give Facebook a cap and you say, you cannot go higher than this. And Facebook just bids within the cap to get you results always under your maximum bid. So you're always staying within a profitable range. Now, the downside to this, of course, is that you cannot just force Facebook to spend everything every single day. If you have a cost cap campaign with a very, very high budget, let's say 10,000 a day, Facebook will probably not spend your 10,000 every day. It's going to spend less because it only spends as far as it thinks that it can achieve results within your cost cap or results that will average out 
out within your cost cap in a few days time. So if you're at scale and you're seeing inconsistencies, my recommendation would be use a manual bidding strategy so you can have more control over the costs of your results. And that's it for today's video, guys. I hope it was useful. I hope it helped you understand why there are inconsistencies, both at low budget and high budgets with your Facebook ads and what you can do to kind of get around these inconsistencies and get more steady results within your profit margins. Now for the next video, guys, I just wanted to give you an update on this. I have read the comments. A lot of you guys are asking about TikTok and Google, and I'm very excited to announce that I am currently working on a Google Ads course that is going to be released in January 2022 on the Ecom King YouTube channel. So it's going to be a big, big course with a lot of things, a lot of chapters on how you can uh, create and launch and market your Shopify dropshipping store. And I will be making the Google Ads section in that course, explaining how you can use Google Ads to advertise your business. So I'm really excited for that. That's going to be coming in January. But in the meantime, of course, as I said, these next few videos are going to be all about Facebook strategy, TikTok strategy, Google strategy. So today's the first one, Facebook ads and consistencies. And I have a lot more Facebook, TikTok and Google strategy videos coming your way within the next few weeks. Now, I'm not sure if it's going to be Facebook or TikTok or Google first, or if we're going to be able to have enough time to make all of them until December. But um, we're certainly going to be making more videos about Facebook strategy, Google strategy and strategies for other platforms within the next weeks. So thank you guys, as always, for watching. Let me know what you thought in the comments. If you have any suggestions, as always, let me know in the comments and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.